Hello there, and welcome to something a little bit different. I did attempt to do a companions-only challenge in the past, and, well, it was pretty difficult. It was pretty difficult. So I'm going to actually turn it up a notch, and we're going to do something maybe even more difficult, at least for me, and that is the Iron Man Challenge. In other words, what we're going to do is I am going to run in to a whole bunch of bandits and die instantly. That's probably going to happen. Anyway, we are going to be playing on these options. These options right here. If you want to play along with me, then by all means, boot up Warband, play on native, and have these exact settings and see how far you can go. And if you can, you know, conquer the entire map without dying once, because that's the rule, if you die once, it's game over. And that's exactly what I'm going to be adhering to as well. So if the if the series ends at some point due to m my death, then that is that is what's going to happen. And it is, it is very, very difficult for me not to die. Do bear that in mind. It's very difficult for me not to die. And I'm not going to have anything about automatic control block direction here. I am not having anything about that because, let's face it, it's hard enough as it is for me not to die from a rod or crossbow to the head. So automatic blocking direction will stay on. Thank you very much. And let's do this. Let's start a new game. Now, here we go. My goal... My goal for the initial early game is to get some enterprises up and running, to find our vassals, to send them off to get right to rule and so on and so forth. But what I am hoping on doing is making this series into a pretty lengthy one. So maybe something that can last, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 episodes, dependent on how well we do. Because, of course, there's always that chance that I'm going to get eliminated at some point. There is always that, that possibility. So you never know what is going to happen. So we're just going to be playing a male here, and we're going to go for an easy start. I'm going to try and min-max as much as I can, and usually I don't do this. Usually I don't min-max because that's just not my that's just not my nature, really. It depends on the game, of course, but usually in Warband, I'm not going to try and min-max that much. So anyway, we're going to go Noble. We're going to go Page. Very easy stuff. We're going to go not Squire. I think we're going to probably go Troubadour or maybe University Student. But I think we'll probably go Troubadour here. And then we will go for... I'm, I'm thinking either Strength or Loss of a Loved One. Because Personal Revenge gives you Strength. So we'll just go for Loss of a Loved One, I suppose. And now we're going to select a banner. Because we can have a banner almost immediately. And we're going to select the classic Barney Beartilled banner. And we are going to... Well, considering it's Iron Man... We're going to go for realistic saving as well. Realistic saving. Okay, so we're going to go for um, Iron Iron, Iron Man Bear Tilt, Pfft, I guess. Why not? So let's go for that. All right, so otherwise we start with an extremely high amount of charisma, which is really, really good. And I think what I'm going to try and do, I, I would like to get more strength for the moment, and we're going to go for some intelligence as well because we need a lot of pathfinding. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave pathfinding the way it is. So what I'm going to do instead is we might actually we might actually want to go for charisma, like a huge amount of charisma here because I would like to get a lot of leadership and we would like to get persuasion as well. Actually, persuasion is intelligence? Ooh, okay. Persuasion's intelligence. Let's do that. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Let's do this as well. Prisoner management's probably going to be quite in quite useful too so that we can get prisoners and then we'll go for some iron flesh i will go for shield athletics and we'll probably go for trainer you we'll go for trainer as well because initially we're probably going to want to do that and because this is all about survivability i'm going to be going for one-handed and a shield and we'll just randomize a couple of times and <laughs> no come on let's 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 give him some better hair shall we let's give him this hair there we go all right so where are we going to start, you ask? Well, we're actually going to start in Praven. Because personally, I feel like the bandits around there are going to be a little bit easier. Oh yeah, by the way, if I die versus the bandit in the initial encounter, then that's a game over as well. That counts as a game over. So hopefully that's not going to happen. Uh, knowing my luck, it probably will. Oh, this guy has a shield. Are you serious? Oh, I shot him in the knee. Take that. Ah, oh, he sidestepped. Did you see that? Oh, what a, what a sneaky fellow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, take that, bandit. That is what you get. Iron Man Beartilt cannot be stopped. 
dies from a soft breeze as soon as he leaves Praven. Yes, that's probably going to happen. Anyway, here we go. Let's do this. I'm going to collect five men because we must. And yeah, what we're going to be doing is hopefully we will be able to find some... Ooh, hello. Okay, we, okay, bear in mind these are just looters. So we don't have anything to really worry about too much. And I'm actually going to go in against these five looters. We got a couple of recruits, which will hopefully level up as we progress. And do bear in mind that I have a shield thanks to starting as a noble. So that's really, really good. Now, how are we doing here? Uh, it's not going too badly. Also, by the way, I'm going to try and minimize the amount of cutting away I do because I don't want you to think that I am cheating in any way. And uh, so, you know, obviously because this is an Iron Man run, I'm going to be doing everything, you know, on screen as much as possible so that you can see exactly what I do every step of the way. If that gets a bit annoying for you, then you can just skip ahead a little bit in the video if you so desire, or maybe at some point if there's a particularly lengthy episode, if I actually manage to survive for a decent amount of time, then I'll put some timestamps or something along those lines in the uh, in the comments or in the description or something to make it a little bit of an easier viewing experience in case there is some you know huge amounts of grinding or something like that but uh, just bear in mind that if i do end up doing a whole bunch of grinding which is probably going to end up being the case at some point you know sometimes you're probably going to need to level up your your units or whatever then i might cut away then but uh you know that's just grinding you know not not something that's really too important okay so otherwise there is another enemy this is a really annoying place to fight i'm actually kind of surprised that this village has such a big mountain nearby because it doesn't look like it on the map you know i would think that this is rodok territory but it actually isn't it's kind of weird but hopefully my forces will level up relatively quickly and hopefully i will level up as well oh this guy really Oh, now he's, now he's coming at me. Oh, yeah, of course. As soon as I switch to my crossbow. Thank you. Thanks so much. There we go. Taking him down. All right, so Iron Man Beltield has not even taken any damage so far. I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, okay, well, there you go. And now we do have a couple of pieces of loot here. We'll be putting on one of these hats. And I will put on the... Should I put on the Nomad armor? It gives me nine more armor, but I do lose leg armor. Seven. So it really depends on if they hit me in the body, which they might. So yeah, the falchion is actually a decent weapon, but for the most part, I'm probably just going to keep the rusty sword because it does have that additional reach. And I really don't want to put myself into situations where I'm going to take a lot of damage, if you know what I mean. So uh, I'm actually thinking that I might go into the village center here and speak to the village elder because what I want to do is I want to recruit some more people uh huh right they need they need uh cattle okay so now here's the thing do you know do you know something about this do you know about this uh, particular little trick that you can do if you want to gain units from a village again well what you do is you change their relation in some way and that will refresh the recruiting button in other words you can get some more people from the same village that you've just gotten. So you don't even need to wait. You don't even need to wait the day or two days or so for the recruiting volunteers thing to, you know, come back. So that is a little bit of a trick there if you don't know it. And it's pretty useful. It is pretty useful. So hopefully we're not going to be fighting in some mountainous terrain. It is a bit mountainous. Uh, yeah, I think we should be okay. Now, thankfully, I do have... Don't I have some prisoner management? Yeah, I have some prisoner management. So I should be able to take... A couple of looters prisoner. They're not going to give me that much money, let's face it. They really aren't. And bear in mind that what I am going to attempt to do is become a vassal relatively... Well, probably relatively quickly. Not too quickly, of course. Not going to try and rush for it or anything like that. But I want to be a vassal so that we can start earning right to rule. Because the more times that factions declare peace, declare war, peace, war, etc., etc., the more time you're going to get... Uh, right to rule and that is going to make a huge difference to our overall standing and and basically it will make it a lot easier for us to create our own faction when and you know when we're going to do that you know so hopefully we'll be able to do it relatively soon and hopefully i'm not going to die from some bandits throwing rocks at me that would be nice 
Oh, oh, okay. Okay, careful. Careful. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a little bit too close for my liking. A little bit too close. We are losing a couple of units here, actually. That's not particularly good. I'm actually kind of wondering why they're throwing rocks at them. I should have just told them all to go into melee, to be honest. I think that probably would have made sense. But they are actually doing damage with these rocks, if you can believe it. It's kind of crazy. All right, there you go. Fantastic. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Okay, phew. I almost died, though. Did you see that? I almost died. That was really bad. Okay, so we can capture those looters. And we can now wear some better, better boots as well. Very nice. Okay, so let's just take all of this. And then we can take all of that and go into the inventory, or well, the marketplace, or whatever. And uh, do I need to do anything here? Don't think I need to do anything. Okay, I've advanced in level. So what we're going to do is we're going to just level up strength for the moment. And I'm going to get another point in... Um, I'm thinking prisoner management, or maybe even trade, something like that. But I think at the moment we don't really want to do that. We want to try to get very high charisma, very high... Mm, well, basically everything else that we can. Persuasion is going to be pretty important for us a little bit later down the line as well. So I guess what I'm going to do is just do trainer for the moment. And we'll just continue putting points into one-handed. All right. So let's uh, let's go here. See what we can sell. We can sell a whole bunch, no doubt. And we're not going to be able to get that much money from this, which is unfortunate, really. It is a big, big problem. Uh, earning money early on unless you can be really lucky and get like a raided village or something like that and I'm also going to be on the lookout for some companions I'm actually on the lookout for three companions uh, specifically for the moment and they are going to be our combat companions and then oh we've also got a ransom broker here this is fantastic yeah look at that 32 each one that's actually pretty decent that's pretty decent for looters Okay, so Ferentis, you're going to be joining me. Please join me. He joins me for free as well, which is just absolutely crazy. And uh, yeah, Ferentis is actually going to be one of our combat companions, which is pretty cool. So he's going to be, you know, eventually becoming a, a vassal and so on and so forth. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Otherwise, I think I should probably buy some food. So let's buy some fruit and bread. And what we want to do first... Uh, well, we want to continue to walk around here, of course, but uh, let's get some militia and let's move them to the top there. And let's let's run around a little bit. Let's run around a little bit, see if we can maybe get some more recruits. Oh, yeah, by the way, it doesn't matter whether you get positive or negative relation with a village. It will refresh the recruiting function either way, as long as you don't go into negative numbers. So basically what you can do is you can, if you have like a, a village that is at 99 relation or something, then what you can do is you can insult them or something, you know, do some kind of hostile action and it won't actually reduce it to a negative number. It will just reduce it to something like, I don't know, 70, 80 or something like that. This is just theoretically, of course. And then you can recruit, you can recruit people again from that same place and then you can take a task and that will change the... Uh, the relation with them as well so you can just continue doing that kind of thing if you have a village that is very very well very very good with your relations with it so you know you can you can really do a very good job there and technically what i could do is every, every single one of these these villages i could go in and i could speak to the village elder and i could say hey do you have a task and if they don't give me a task then that's absolutely fine but if they do then i could double recruit basically from every single village that I have so far, so far gone to, which is pretty cool. That's a, a really, really nice way of getting double the recruits without spending additional time. So otherwise, uh, let's see what else we can do here. We have the Rodox doing some stuff. I have 33 units now, and we have some additional people that have leveled up there as well. Okay, so I have 137 dinars. It would probably be a good idea for me to fight some people. So I'm going to speak to King Harlaus actually, because I might join Praven. I might join Praven. I might join Swadia as a vassal. Not entirely sure which which faction I'm going to choose yet. So if you'd like to suggest something, by all means, put that down in the comments. And bear in mind that this is going to be one of those things where we really do need to survive. So that's generally the reason why I'm looking to try and focus on a faction that has decent enough units, 
but we are not going to limit ourselves to using only that faction's units. So basically what we're going to do is eventually we're going to have like a, a really nice composition of, I don't know, maybe like, uh, I, I really don't know, maybe like 40% infantry, 30% archers, and 20% cavalry, something like that. Maybe something like that. Really depends. But anyway, I... Could I join him as a vassal right now? No, no, of course not. Okay, so I'm going to collect the taxes from Praven, actually. Whoa, that's going to be a pretty amazing thing for us to do right now. Because there is no... Well, there is a there is a little bit of a... Well, eh, there is a bit of a duration on that quest. But I think once you complete it, there is no duration. So this is pretty insane for us to do this. We are going to take three days to collect this, but I don't mind because that's actually going to give us quite a lot of cash. And uh, that might then enable me to maybe even buy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ignore them and continue. Yes, it might enable me to even buy some amazing gear already. And that would prevent me from dying, hopefully. And bear in mind that because this is the Iron Man challenge, I'm not going to be buying weapons First, I'm going to be buying armor as much as I can and good shields and all kinds of things like that. And I am probably going to be using a bow as well so that I can stay at range and I can take people out from, from a fair distance away and then we'll have a, a pretty decent time of things. So hopefully that's going to work out quite nicely. I'm also going to be uh, attempting to look for companions that will be our medics and so on and so forth. And uh, I've looked at the sort of companion tree thing you know that thing that is on the wiki where it basically tells you which companions get on with who and uh well i've kind of worked out what i'm going to be going for from that and uh yeah hopefully it's going to work out quite nicely so anyway uh let's uh, should we buy some armor can i can i actually buy some good armor right now i could in theory i could uh hmm this might be an idea this might very well be a pretty cool idea. So I'm, I'm actually going to do this. This might be this might be a bad idea. Oh well. This might be a bad idea, but we're going to do it nevertheless. That's 4,900. And I think that's... I think that's pretty decent. I think that is actually pretty decent. Let's do that. And maybe I can buy a good shield as well. No, nah, no. Nah. I think I need to go up to Nord territory to actually buy a pretty decent shield. I could buy this one for 84, which is literally nothing. And we could just sell this. There we go. Sounds good to me. And you know what? I'm going to sell my crossbow as well because I'm not going to be using a crossbow for the most part. So let's just use this. There we go. Let's put this on and we can wear all of this, thankfully. And there you go. Okay, so that's fantastic. That was really lucky for us to get that particular task. That is really quite fantastic. You can see here that there is literally no no duration on this there's no well there is a duration on this but i don't really mind that so much because if it fails then we'll probably lose a little bit of relation with the village but that's not really a big deal all right so let's actually go in here and see if we can okay so we've got some mountain bandits i think we can probably take on mountain bandits my trainer skill is actually working pretty nicely as or as you can already see which i'm kind of surprised at to be honest and i'm actually wondering what he's he's got literally nothing oh dear you know what i should have given him my old shield i'm a bad leader I'm a bad leader. Oh, well, never mind. Forentis, you're just going to have to deal with what you've got so far. Oh, dear. He's not going to be too pleased with me. Now, bear in mind, realistic saving is on, so I cannot save scum or anything like that. And we are just going to roll with the punches, and uh, we'll just have to deal with what happens, whatever that may be. Uh, I kind of want to fight those looters. Where, where did those looters go? Oh, there they are. They're actually running away from us at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to just fight the looters then instead, because I kind of don't want to lose half my army almost immediately uh <laughs> hopefully at least and i think we've got some pretty decent units right here i've got some nice gear on right now but of course gear really does not save you if you get hit in the face or something so i am just generally going to be playing a character that is extremely hard to kill and we'll just try and see if that works so yeah first thing i'm going to be doing at least I think right now, is probably trying to find a tournament. And I'll probably try and enter that as soon as I can. Uh, maybe level up my uh, level up my proficiencies a little bit more, maybe get a little bit more in Power Strike here and there. Because let's face it, I'm going to need some in Power Strike to be able to even deal damage in the tournament. 
and uh, hopefully that will work out quite well. Now you can see here that me using this rusty sword, while it is not going to deal the most damage, it actually is pretty significantly useful because of its reach. Because if I was using a falchion, I'd have to go really close to the opponent to actually make it work. Whereas now, I really don't have to do that. I can kind of swing a little bit further away from them. And while I'm not really doing that much damage right now, I am letting my forces stay alive pretty significantly. Let's let's actually tell my forces to charge in. Were they not charging in up, up until now? No, it doesn't seem like it. Fantastic. Well, at least Ferentus is getting a lot of kills. So I suppose that's all that really matters, to be honest, because if he can level up and become an absolute beast, then I don't have to be so worried about my own life. But I am going to be much more careful than I usually am. So expect to see a lot more strategic bear tilled rather than idiotic bear tilled. Even though he's still going to be looming in the background and he's going to be like, oh, you should probably run in there against those 10,000 Nord Huskars. Yes, he's going to be saying those things in the back of my mind and I'll just have to ignore him. And he's going to be like, why are you ignoring me? Usually we have a fun time. And I'm like, no. No, usually it's not. When when we're face down in the dirt, it's not a very, very fun time at all. Not for me, at least. And he's like, but I like the way the dirt tastes. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I have to deal with. Can you believe it? It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And I'm actually kind of surprised that Forentus did not level up. But there you go. Nice. Got a little bit of a capture there. Did get some additional loot, but nothing amazing. Hopefully the mountain bandits are still in the area, so we will be able to chase them down a little bit. Are they? Something tells me no. No. No, it doesn't seem like they're around here. Oh, well, that's kind of a shame, but I guess it's okay because we are still just leveling up our forces. And uh, getting them leveled up is primarily the reason why we're doing this. And at the moment, I am only going to be recruiting Swadians because they eventually level up into Man at Arms. And Man at Arms are going to be something that can dominate in the mid game, at least for the moment, before we become a vassal. And uh, then maybe after that, then we will start branching out and using other things like Nord units, using Vegiers as archers or Rodox as crossbowmen, either one. Ooh, what's going on here? Forest bandits are fighting some manhunters. Do I want to fight the for- No, I do not. You know what? I'm not going to fight the forest bandits. I personally feel like forest bandits are really, really difficult. Uh, and I, I think that- w mm. Oh, uh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, this might actually be pretty good. Okay, we're going to try this. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? You can't run away now. Are you serious? I can't believe they actually ran away like that. They were they were well up for a fight, and then they were like, oh no, I'm sorry. We can't fight you right now. So I, I really don't know what's going on there. But anyway, let's see. Oh, this is okay. And this is not good for Forentus. Ferentus is going to be having a pretty bad time here. I do need to go into Uxkarl and get a shield for him after this fight because he is currently running around with nothing. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, basically what I'm going to do is going to go to a tournament, get some uh, get some monies, and then we're going to go and uh, try and buy a Weavery and Dye Works somewhere, probably in the north of the Vegia territory, because usually that gives you the most from a, from a die works, as far as I recall. And uh, that's going to be our, our first investment, if we can make it work. Because he might, and by he I mean the Lord of Ravidin or Rivercheg or whatever it is. I can't remember the name of it offhand right now, because I haven't really played native in a very long time. And hopefully we will be able to then uh, have a, a decent income just from that. Just literally from that. And I don't really mind losing too many units here. I just really don't want to die myself. So we're just going to try and... There we go. Do a little bit of damage here and kill him. There we go. Do bear in mind that we also need to level up ourselves. So I am going to be taking a couple of kills here and there. And I don't really mind about my units leveling up or not. Because they are eventually going to level up from trainer skill anyway. And capturing some of these forest bandits is very good for us too. Ooh, nice. We got some, we got some decent... Decent armor here. We might want to give that to Forentus. Maybe we want to make him into it. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to listen to the idiotic bear tilt by making Forentus into a two-handed berserker kind of unit. Because that's just not really going to work very well, is it? No, not at all. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to give him this ragged leather jerkin. I think it is better than what he was wearing. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Not too bad. 
and we can give him the hood as well. And uh, yeah, I was thinking of giving him this rusty axe so he can be like a massive two-handed beast, but it's just going to end up in him dying all the time, and I don't really want that. Thank you very much. So uh, let's go and actually try and fight the forest bandits. I don't know whether we can even catch up to them. They seem to be quite fast. Oh, there we go. We actually did catch up to them. And I just said mountain bandits, didn't I? No, they're actually forest bandits. Thank you very much. Okay, so otherwise, let's let's move up here. Oh, already? Oh, already? They're already killing us. Okay, this is bad. You know what? I'm going to retreat from this, and we're going to go back in and see if we spawn somewhere else. There we go. Yeah, there's another little trick for the for those of you that don't know that. I think quite a few people know that already, and uh, generally I get told that quite often, but the thing is, is with that is that Usually in series, I don't like to do that unless I have something at stake, like for example, Iron Man status, you know, so generally I tend to be a little bit more realistic about those kinds of things. So otherwise, let's get to the, let's get to the apex of the hill, just a little bit, the pinnacle of the hill, and we will try a little bit just to be a bit sneaky. Got to be careful myself because my shield is not exactly the greatest, don't really want to get shot in the face. And we're going to charge now. We're going to charge. Let's just do this. Go, 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 go. Go, everyone. Uh, yeah, that was great. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. This this was bad. This was a bad idea for me. <laughs> As you can no doubt tell, that was a really bad idea. Could you see all the arrows just streaming towards me right there? That was really bad. Okay. Uh, Thank Thankfully, we're, we're okay, though. And I think we should be fine to actually win this. But it is literally just a case of swarming them with numbers. That's literally all, all all we can do. There's no other way we could win this, in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Really don't want my horse to die either, thank you very much. But there you go, there's a victory. We lost another three, but that's not really a big deal. I need to find... Uh, who do I want to make into our medic? Uh, I think maybe Artimena, because he generally is good at engineering... But we also are going to be getting um, maybe Dashavi, but she's really good at spotting and tracking, so probably not going to be doing that. But we, we uh, we're going to get Leslet as well. He's really good at trainer, so maybe we'll make him into the medic. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but we'll we'll find out as we go. Okay, I'm going to get rid of some of this uh, lower lower cost stuff so they can take the higher cost stuff, and I'm actually going to equip these arrows for future. And do I want to use a short bow? I don't have the power draw. I don't have the power draw, so I guess I'm just going to take it and uh, we'll use a bow at some point in the series. Maybe. Uh, don't really know about that just yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I have five, five uh, prisoners right now, and we have a couple of people that have leveled up as well. Yes, very nice. More militia, more footmen. Very good. And they are almost to man-at-arm status. And we've only been playing for about 30 minutes so far. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, uh, pr you know, progression. Uh, not too bad, you know. I I think we could probably have been a little bit quicker if I'd found a, a tournament to participate in, but for the most part, I haven't really found one just yet. So we're just going to sell all of that. There we go. Another three hundred and sixty. Let's go into the tavern check for some companions. Doesn't seem like there are any. I would like to hire those hired blades, but I think they're probably going to be quite expensive, and if they end up dying in battles, it's just going to be an absolute travesty. So it's definitely something that you have to be aware of with mercenary units. If you do have literally nothing in surgery, because I think we have like one in surgery or nothing. No, I have nothing in surgery. So we are... <laughs> We are a bit, a bit of a loss there. So we're just going to continue recruiting Swadians as well. Oh, hello. There's some more looters. Do I want to even fight them? Probably not. And uh, yeah, Ferentis is apparently from Suno, so that's nice to know. Otherwise, let's go into the tavern here. We need to buy him a shield as well. Ah, there's a ransom broker too. That's great. There's the drunk. Mercenary cavalry. Some sort of animal, clearly. I'm going to die from the drunk now. Watch this. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. Okay, there you go. We actually leveled up. That's fantastic. And we got a Nordic sword from that. That's actually pretty good. That is actually a pretty cool way to get a uh, get a Nordic sword. Okay, so Mr. Ransom Broker, please take my prisoners. Ooh, 73 for one. That's nice. Look at that. We've now got over 2,000. 
That is actually pretty cool. And we've got the Nordic Sword as well. So we can swap out our Rusty Sword for the Nordic Sword. And it's got basically the same amount of reach too. So that's really good. All right. So what else are we going to do here? Well, what we want to do is we want to buy a Heater Shield or something. Uh, something similar to that effect. I think I'm probably just going to buy this for myself. And I'll give Forentis my old one. That seems to be a pretty decent idea for me at the moment. Let's give him that. He's using a pretty decent sword as it is anyway. So I guess I'll just you know keep the rusty one for someone else. And I will now level up strength so we can get another point in. Actually, not in Power Strike. Usually I'll do Power Strike, but I'm actually going to do Iron Flesh this time around. So then we're going to start leveling up our archery proficiency too. And I think that's probably going to be it for this episode of the Iron Man Challenge. We're going to do about 30 minute segments per episode unless something really dramatic is happening. And otherwise, let me know how you think about this particular series idea. If you'd like to see more of the Iron Man Challenge, then let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.